going on people how are we all doing this fine evening morning afternoon whenever you're watching this hope you're good thanks for coming thanks for coming back if you're a regular subscriber if you're not hit the subscribe button um a like a comment everything just really helps push the channel um yeah so everything you can do comments like subscribe share whatever i'd really appreciate it especially the people that kind of come back week in week out that would really be appreciated it massively helps more than you think uh what have we got today a few interesting bits and pieces coming up i'm trying to stifle a yawn there um a few interesting bits and pieces coming up not your average bog standard jobs or not for me anyway maybe for you but yeah it's like one's a commercial system one is electrical system yeah couple bits and pieces let's not give the game away too much but hope you enjoy it so i've come to this leaking bypass i'm gonna swap it out for a gate valve but i'm gonna need to cut back everything and basically remake that h because they are like soldered on the iron fittings which is not what i wanted to be doing back to using the flexi bucket to drain out to the washing machine waste just gotta remember to change that drain cup washer There we go, new gate valve all in there, replacing this. There's a bit too cut out. That grinder is an absolute lifesaver. Really useful. So I'm not gonna lie with that one, couldn't see the wood for the trees. So I was actually gonna just repipe the whole lot, the 28 mil, then on the other side from the zone valve, and I spoke to Jack of GB Maintenance and um, he was like, why don't you just cut the valve and sweat it off? So yeah, made life 10 times easier. Thanks, Jack. So next fun job of the day is, it's like a commercial system. I'm in one of the flats now and they need a thermostat put in because they just can't control anything. So I've got, uh, got the wiring center open here. You've got your main live neutral and earth coming in off of this one so i'm going to wire that into the stat and then bridge the pump and zone valve lives from my switch live out so stats wired in we've got our neutral live link between live and common and our switch live out on the gray remember on these esi ones two is a switch live out not three most stats are three and then in here we've got our live and then our neutrals and our earth. So yeah. Let's check it works. So there we are, our stats working. The Sunvik valve needs replacing because that's blowing the fuse. And the pump is flashing. So it's getting power. Let's see what that is. 
So you're gonna need a new pump. When I put the Sunvic valve in, that was blowing the fuse on the main spur. So yeah, gonna need a new pump and new Sunvic. Don't know why that pump's doing that. I've never seen that before. So on this one, the customer called me because the pressure went down. They had some drops in the bottom of the cupboard. They've repressurized and then it started to leak again. So there's obviously a leak on the system side. I'm just topping the pressure up now, as you can see. And then I'm going to try and find where it's coming from. So I've replaced the two washers at the back there, smothered it all in grease, replaced the side washer that goes into the pump as well, and we are looking good. So there you go, another Wednesday video complete. Hope you enjoyed that. There were a few fun jobs there. Um, yeah, nothing too taxing, but quite interesting. The middle thermostat one did get me in my head a little bit, like trying to figure it out at first. I was just like, doesn't make sense but in the end it made sense kind of annoying it needed all the other stuff to go with it as well and you couldn't complete the job off but that is life so let me know in the comments installer questions keep them coming and just general say hey don't forget like share follow subscribe comment it really really helps just even just a little thumbs up or whatever really really helps if you don't mind doing that I'd appreciate it. Have a lovely week. Bye.